right, folks, it's time to start on the other side of this cab and uh, fix this. So um, I uh, I wanted to show you, this is what I use here to actually fix some of the bigger, bigger holes. Uh, it's a mix of wood glue and wood chipping and it's, uh, it's still drying. It takes about two days to dry properly, uh, but once it's dry, it's just as solid as wood. And it, it, it does a better bond than uh, a lot of fillers would. So um, once this is all dry, I will sand it flat down and then just uh, use filler isopon type of stuff just to uh, fill the holes. And uh, it's handy just to build up some material as well on, on top of something else. So I, uh, I sanded kind of roughly the, uh, the wood here so that you get a better mechanical grip. And uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, more layers, more sanding, but uh, uh, and then in the meantime, I'll uh, I'll see if I can order a better, um, well, a working uh, <laughs> uh, uh, router just to do the uh, T molding. So the T molding will have to just uh, actually go here and probably extend a little bit underneath here, uh, somewhere there. Uh, the existing one uh, probably actually went as far as here. Uh, and actually, yeah, no, the bracket actually just uh, will secure that in the bottom in place as well. So I might just do that instead. Uh, let me think. Because this is all flush. Oh, no, I have the two bars, of course, as well, that actually uh, help raise the cab a little bit off the ground. So that's, that's grand. That's absolutely fine. So, yeah, we'll have to, um, while the cab is in this position. Oh, yeah, there's another. There was a fix here to fix. Um... It was a previous fix they've done and they didn't actually sand it down flush. So I, I, I actually did that. I'll have to go back and just uh, make sure it's all nice and, uh, and smooth and flat. But uh, it was quite a bad job they'd done. Again, I can't blame them. You know, they just wanted to get this cab back in service as quickly as possible. Um, so it would make money. Anyway, uh, I'm actually off. So I'll come back tomorrow, uh, sand that and then uh, apply a first coat of... Uh, isopon filler oh yeah by the way some people were asking about the side art in the previous video and whether did send or the uh, panel art did send me two um, of them and whether that was because there was some uh, damage here it's it's just the uh, the, the uh, paper there's a, a paper you peel off that that's uh, damaged but underneath I, I didn't see any uh, any trace of damage so I don't think it's because of that or maybe it is, maybe actually they saw that and they were, they were like, maybe we'll send in another one. So I don't know, I uh, I contacted them, I didn't get a reply. Uh, but at least I, I did, you know, uh, send them. So yeah, I have two new old stock control panel art. Um, yeah, I'll probably, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do with them. I know what I'll do with one anyway. Um, we'll worry about that uh, once all of this is done. I'm uh, storing this here. I have uh, the shifter here. Um, I have a spare Sega wheel I found, but it's not it's not for that uh, type of cab. Uh, that's for, a, I think, a sit-down driver. Uh, it doesn't actually um, fit a Naomi, even uh, even this uh, this stuff here. Anyway. All right, um, this is what I was uh, talking about. I'm just filling here with uh, Bondo all the little gaps. So it just means I use a lot less. And uh, what I've done, and I've done that on the other side, then I use red paint or any other color paint that's not black uh, or white, something that's visible, you know. And uh, I just, I spray the uh, area that I've patched with that and then I sand it back down. And now it just exposes the, um, where, where it, it needs a little bit more filler and stuff like that. So it's, it's a handy way. Uh, I just lightly, lightly, like a uh, sand in the uh, in the grooves here so it actually provides a better key but then I can use that um, to know exactly where to put it. just extra extra filler uh, this area would be obviously uh, in much needed that uh, it just helps me make things a bit more visible uh, so we'll do that uh, last pass last bit of sanding uh, it looks kind of smooth enough here um, and then uh, and then we'll be done for this side as well. All right, so that's the second side uh, done. You can see there's some blemishes here, but what I was just uh, focusing on was that sort of a transition here with the uh, the cab itself and uh, to get that smooth. Again, keep in mind, 
doesn't really matter. Uh, this will be somewhere here and uh, just providing extra extra structural strength to this uh, this section. But um, yeah, all in all, pretty happy with the uh, the result. Um, I'm just gonna let that dry for another probably day. So uh, I've ordered a new router, router sorry, <laughs> uh, some T molding. So I, I'll wait for all that to arrive. There is. Uh, something I can do in the meantime, maybe, is to actually just uh, respray, de-rust and respray this plate. Uh, this is the uh, the plate for the uh, the controls here. So we'll look after that, have that all nice and clean, uh, ready to go back in. And then when the T-molding arrives, well, when the the bit arrives, the router, we can actually redo the uh, the groove here, the T-molding groove, and apply the T-molding, and then will be almost done for uh, cosmetics we have this section here that i talked about i uh, i sanded it before uh, flush we might have to do another pass of uh, of just uh, filler uh probably do, redo the t yeah the groove here there's this section here that i'm not entirely happy about so i'll have to uh, i'll have to find a way here cuz look at that look at that again can't be mad at the uh, op for, for doing a a quick job that would get this cab on the uh, on the floor as quickly as possible. You know, that's what they did, and uh, they had to make money. So, but um, here we have time, so we'll uh, we'll redo this as well. Um, so I need to flip that on uh, on its side once more, and then uh, we can uh, we can focus on that section. Uh, yeah, but at least, I mean, this is solid now. This is not going anywhere. And, uh, yeah, um, there is a small gap here. So I'm going to have to use some uh, filler for here as well, actually. Uh, and that's because this guy, uh, I probably cut it a little bit in a rush. And really what I should have done is put this in place. Uh, use the original as a rough template and see where there was gaps. Uh, but yeah, that's okay. Uh, oh yeah, I need to fill all these as well. Uh, and we reapply the uh, the vinyl on top here. Um, I used some spray glue, that didn't work. So I'm just gonna use some wood glue and just clamp that in place um, with a piece on top for overnight. And hopefully, hopefully that should bond everything properly. Um, okay, let's keep uh, keep working. All right, so I cut the uh, groove for the T-molding. This is the bottom part here. And uh, I've uh, I've just applied the T-molding here. Oops, go recover. Applied the T-molding here onto this side. And um, I've put the protective plate from out front that I've obviously uh, cleaned a uh, good bit. It was actually just uh, filthy. Um, I know it looks funky, but most of them, let me see if I can uh, get higher. Most of the uh, out front type cab would have some form of protection and I haven't found anything consistent with those type of cabs. Uh, the, the only few photos of Rad Mobile that I could see have different type of uh, just cover protection. Some of them are the uh, Turbo Outrun one that actually go all the way. Actually, they change on some Turbo Outruns as well. So I think we're just going to have to do our best here um, and uh, be happy with that. The goal is actually just to provide some extra, extra... Uh, protection in the corner uh, you know make it more a bit more solid and uh, and part you know part of the gap just to protect this so that's the goal and uh, i tell you what this is not moving anywhere <laughs> so uh, pretty happy oh yeah uh, did i show you in the last segment i can't remember this is the corner that i've just uh, a repair no here <laughs> Uh, this is the corner I've, uh, I've repaired. Uh, T-molding fits nicely on both sides. Uh, much happier, happier with that than whatever big patch. You, know, so you can still see if you go close enough. Actually, these are just sanding marks. Yeah, there you go. There's the old line. You really have... <sighs> Do you know, I, we can see it on the phone for some reason because I suppose the uh, it's not a stereo picture in that sense but with the naked eye I'd be hard pressed to know exactly where this is so good enough happy with it uh, solid solid uh, let's flip this and do the same thing on the other side and then I will glue the uh, 
the red uh, vinyl here onto this. Um, I tried a few different type of glues. I tried wood glue. I tried, sorry, uh, spray glue. None of them, will, uh, none of them st stuck properly. I'm going to use wood glue, just a thin layer of wood glue that I'll apply with the um, a brush and then I clamp this down overnight and that should do it. All right, that's the other side uh, done here. I got the tea molding everywhere and uh, now I'm just clamping the uh, the vinyl um, with an extra piece of paper. I just put some uh, masking tape here just to prevent the glue from sticking to, you know, the, the glue that could seep uh, over um, from just sticking to the wood. So I'll be able hopefully to remove that uh, cleanly and hopefully, hopefully it'll stick the vinyl in place properly because uh, yeah that thing is old and just didn't want to stick anymore um i started uh, cleaning the uh, panel here for the pedals just uh, first coat of paint to let it dry so hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to put this cab back upright um for the first time really in a couple of months it's been a it's been a slow slow progress um doing this but you know Redoing wood and just blending everything and just uh, making sure everything is I mean, yeah It's uh It's taken a while you want to take your time doing stuff like that and not rush it, but it's been uh, it's been worth it uh, Next after that we we'll have to look at this guy. I started sort of uh, This is the power supply looking at what's going on. So we have a fuse here that is uh, dead and somebody uh, my guy for the <laughs> new views from it but we'll have to replace that i just checked the connections are all right i was going to reuse this but i don't think even if it's working these things are so cheap you know they're probably 40 yeah 40 quid or 50 um it's probably best to just get a fresh decent one and uh, not have any issue so i might just replace that all together um i'm just going to give this the power uh, amp for the audio I believe so i'm just gonna clean that up open it but um see if there's any uh bulging caps usually these things are pretty reliable so um hopefully there won't be too much of an issue and uh check all the uh, connections that there's no broken cables but i think uh i think once this is changed i'll put new fuses this thing uh be ready to fire up i'll just give it a clean and uh, we'll put it back in I'll tidy the cabling as well. I've removed a lot of stuff just to see where everything was going. I've done some some continuity tests, continuity tests um, already. Um, I haven't really seen any uh, issues that pops out, so we should be good with that. So hopefully by uh, my next week, I should have, uh, or well, by tomorrow, I should have the cab upright. But uh, we'll start putting things back together, and I'll be able to finally, finally test that monitor. Uh, chassis and test if the board works even uh, and then we'll decide what to do with this cab still haven't decided i'm mean, gonna leave it as uh, as a uh, rad mobile those cabs are rare um very uncommon really but not that interesting and not that wanted uh, i think there's somebody uh, at the moment at the moment of time of writing this that is trying to sell one and there's no uh, no takers really uh, even though it's a Sega racer, so I th my preference would be uh, would be to convert it to uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to convert it cosmetically anyway uh, to a, a turbo outrun. That's really the plan. Um, the big question is when it comes to the control panel uh, because it's it's different. I'm going to salvage um, as much as I can. This control panel needs new art. I'm not sure anybody's doing repros of of this art. I'm, I'm gonna have uh, maybe to check with um, Ollie at uh, Arcade Art Shop, see if he has any first, and if he doesn't, maybe see with him if I can take uh, good quality pictures to send him if he wants to make a repro. Problem with this is there's not that many cabs around, there's not many people who want one. So anyway, um, the big unknown with this control panel is I'm gonna have to do some uh, welding if I want to convert it to a uh, turbo outrun. There's gonna be some uh, sort of destructive uh, um, changes um, required. Um, meaning I'm gonna have to plug the hole where the the, the uh, wheel is here, uh, just open a new one uh, because it's slightly off-centered and then open a hole for the, uh, um, for the uh, gear shifter. 
So it's not so much the work is should I should I do it in the first place, you know. Um I I think I've made up my mind that I will, but it's just uh, I sort of feel bad. I feel bad for what is essentially a, a, a you know, the uniqueness of a rad mobile camera. It's not many of them. Anyway, that's for me to decide. It's my cab. I think that's what's going to happen. Um, and uh, yeah, but at least we'll do the first cosmetic uh, changes with the side art and uh, a new marquee with Dorbo Outrun and all kind of stuff. Anyway, that's uh, ahead uh, for now. Let's see if that vinyl uh, sticks properly. Finally, 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 it's back upright and we're done here with, well, mostly, well, we're done with that bottom. I just need to finish. I'm waiting for that plate to dry. I reassemble the, uh, the pedal, uh, all that. I made a new piece here, a uh, new, uh, uh, whatever bottom, Resting piece for the pedal. The other one was just a bit too crumbly and uh, and gone. Uh, this should be somewhere here. So this actually bolts into the the, the front assembly panel and uh, yeah, something like something like that. Something like that. Um, come on, there you go. Yeah, so I've put, um, there was two pieces of wood that I put back underneath just to protect the, and lift the board, the uh, uh, cab slightly off the ground to prevent dampness here. Once it's in the, uh, the arcade room, probably won't need it, but it doesn't hurt to have the wood slightly, or the main wood slightly off the ground in general. That's what you have those uh, legs typically. And, um, uh, uh, yeah, so these were there. I didn't, I don't have legs. I could order some, I suppose, but it just, it works like that. It's just fine. Um, I like the red and I'm glad I used some spray paint on this. It actually looks really nice and, uh, and almost, almost new, almost brand new. Um, it just hides all the scuff, uh, the, but the rest is intact. It's pretty much all there. You can see some scuffs here that were just painted over. But actually, you'd be now, there's another one here, there's a few here and there, but you'd be hard pressed to find them by just uh, looking up from the top. Uh, new T molding, and obviously the sides, I think they work nicely like that. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely unhappy <laughs> about it. Um, I kind of wish it would go all the way, but it works like that. That's all I could find. Original protector plates from uh, an Outrun up kite, up, uh, upright, full size, you know, the, the full size upright. Uh, I, I did try and look for turbo, uh, for not turbo, yeah, turbo Outrun and Outrun Mini uh, covers. I haven't been able to source any, so these were the only ones uh, I could find. Sometimes, you know, you just have to make do with uh, what you find. So next, well, next I'm gonna reassemble that pedal assembly and move on to the uh, power supply. I already started looking at it. Um, I'm going to move it back over there. Uh, and once the power supply is sorted, I think, I think that'd be the end of this video. And then we'll move on. We'll move on to, uh, well, everything, the monitor and the board. And then uh, we can look after the cosmetics uh, last. Or maybe I'll get the cosmetics sorted first. It'll be cool to have a, uh, the artwork here already while I'm working on the, on the board and monitor part, if they need any work. Um, all right, let's get back to work. So interestingly, I actually fired up uh, the power supply as it was with the um, this switcher. Uh, oh no, sorry, let me rephrase that. I powered the switcher on its own and it was fine. It was actually fine. So it, it might, you know, die at some point. But look, I'm going to use it now at least to test um, everything. Um, I powered the thing. Nothing happened. And I'm happy to say I've uh, put the monitor back on. Let's switch this on. You can hear the hum. But we got... Um, and one thing here is I put a light, a uh, new light. And the monitor is indeed working I can hear the hum. I just need maybe to uh, increase the this guy a little bit. There you go. We got just uh, re at least retrace lines. So we got a 
we got high voltage and that kind of stuff might need to tinker with the uh, settings just to get a better picture but i'm not gonna leave it on for too long like that not that it would do damage really but um so i think next i'm gonna try and plug the board and see if that board is indeed at least booting and working and uh that's really uh that's really cool um that the monitor well, the new chassis I had, well, the new chassis, the second chassis I had for this, so is working. Uh, I knew it was when I uh, put it away, in, but um, yeah, so there you go. So I'm going to secure everything uh, that's there already, and then I'm going to try the board and uh, see if that works. Right, I have the uh, board installed. I've uh, plugged things already. Uh, the reason is this monitor... Um, Works okay after a while, but it sort of needs to warm up, and you can't probably see it on the picture uh, because of uh, well the light and everything. But uh, the colors aren't great. I need to calibrate them. I'm suspecting this cab was uh, essentially I got it as working um, by whichever way I I got it. I can't remember if I bought it or if I uh, uh, rescued it from another job or whatever. Um, the chassis anyway. But um, it, was, it was described as working, but I'm suspecting there was no service or anything like that done on it. So it probably needs new caps. That's okay. We can do that in time. Um, there's a couple of issues as well. I'm not sure how to... I found where the uh, vertical uh, was, but the horizontal uh, width, I'm not quite sure where the setting is for that, where the pot is for that. Now these spots address it. This is a uh, 900... Antarx 900 is it um, and uh, I'm not sure where the uh, uh, horizontal width is there is a pot way over there I'm not going to touch it while it's live I'm going to look at the manual but uh, I'm not sure where the uh, horizontal width is it or do you just need to tinker with the uh, coil and does it just need a recap anyway um, good news is the board is working so far I haven't the, the sound plugged in yet but the, uh, the board is working so far. Uh, it looks very blue right now because I just cranked up the blues and uh, uh, there's some uh, red that are actually a bit too low. But um, all the colors are there. So the uh, the board is working fine, which is actually great news. What's uh, less great news is this issue with the calibration. Um, well, it's not bad news either. Uh, I'm going to have to just calibrate or move the pot slightly on the pedals because they don't have the full range, especially the um, uh, accelerator. Uh, the pod probably needs to be kind of shifted slightly by a few, um, if, if not a turn, but it's just a, it's, it's slightly, so it actually just goes uh, from idle to full. Like if I set the service, uh, the, the test switch, and I go to input test, and I press the accelerator all the way down. It doesn't actually go uh, all the way, well, where it should go, up. So low is just before that, high is after that. Uh, it should really be kind of somewhere there and then it goes as high as it can. If I, um, if I press this guy on its own, like I can get it to reach just about so maybe first reduce this guy but also the pot inside needs uh, a few turns the brake i'll have to see where it needs to be uh i'm guessing it's probably breaking anyway it should be i mean realistically it should be lower than 95 you know uh, so i'll see where the the values should rest um so that's just calibration i believe uh, what's gonna need a replacement, I think, is the pot for the steering, because that's all over the place. Yeah, you can't really use a steering for that. Uh, even at rest, I mean, it's not a, a board issue or a chip issue, it actually rests on a value. I think the pot... It's not even off center. I think the pot is just dirty. I'm going to use some contact cleaner first just to see uh, if that does anything. I'm going to take that apart, but I might just need a, a new pot here for this uh, assembly. It's actually very crude for, for a Sega game. It's probably one of the simplest uh, driving assembly I've ever seen. Um, if you look at an outro or even a, 
a turbo outrun will be a, a lot more complex but it's because this uh, this gear is as well for the motor this didn't have a motor not in its um not in its uh, cabaret version anyway uh, although there is a motor setting for this guy um but turbo outrun in ca uh, cabaret mode didn't have a motor i don't think it did um i have this set to free play but it needs the uh the switch uh here is uh, is broken it actually just sheared right off here uh, I could technically start the game by just connecting and pressing the button, but I'm not going to do that yet. And I believe these should light up at some point. I think there's a light in there. So we're going to have to change uh, the lights there as well. So still a bit of work, uh, some calibration, new pot. And then I'm not going to touch the monitor for now. I'm going to try and get it as, uh, as, as close to crisp and normal as I can. And uh, we, we can worry about the monitor some other time. Um, but for now, I'm just happy that things are started. That's a surprise. Well, not the monitor, but actually the monitor was, uh, I thought it had been serviced or it actually was a bit better than that. Um, if you look closely, like there's some just bleeding and the colors aren't quite right. And you can't see that actually on the photo. Let me clean this. Not much better but slightly better uh, but yeah so um the, yeah the colors aren't quite right um there's a bit of bleeding so i, I just and then the, the width isn't uh, this, i'm not sure how to say that anyway i look into it not a big deal i can if it's a recap i can replace the caps the good news and the pleasant surprise is the board is working i genuinely thought this board was toast so that's a pleasant surprise let's uh, exit the uh, menu uh all the tests the ram test and all that worked um i'm gonna bring a bit more red in this but yeah working so next um well next oh yeah actually the light is working on this that is great news okay cool 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 and uh yeah so next i think i'm going to let me think let me think Recalibrate the pedals, order a new pot for driving, and then we can worry about the rest uh, after that. Sweet. All right, so I did some adjustment on the monitor. The picture is uh, much, much uh, crisper, and I think the colors are okay. There is a small problem with the width, and uh, so the, um, the width is set by one of these. Let me grab a light here. The width is set by... Uh, not a pot, but uh, a coil, uh, just a width coil, really. Um, normally, very often on most monitors, you'd have uh, you'd have width coils. Uh, you see that uh, it's going to be awkward with one hand to hold the light, and, and you see that right here, that sort of white uh, U shape or, or um, horseshoe shape kind of thing so this is part of a, 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 a the horizontal coil assembly there and it, you can twist that a few turns um at least up to like 180 degrees because then it winds uh, down on itself so those two coils side by side you can adjust the width with that i've gone as far as i could and there's still some uh, i mean it's still too wide it's still too wide so my guess is this cab probably needs a recap anyway. Um, and also, this is uh, sort of a, as crisp as I can get it. There's probably some uh, adjustment to do as well with the tube, although I don't quite see it. There's no, uh, there's no ring, adjustment rings on this. So I think this is uh, as far... As I'll get it. Um, I th this I think this chassis needs a recap. Anyway, we've said that before. So we'll see. We'll see. That's down the line. Um, the other thing I've done is I've adjusted the uh, pots for the pedal and for the um, for the top. So there's a calibration. Uh, there's a calibration menu like in the input test of the uh, test menu. And essentially, you just unscrew these two here 
and just readjust the, uh, the pot manually and then put it back like that. And uh, the manual, if you have, if you can, you know, if you download the manual online, it, it goes through what needs to be done to calibrate those uh, controls. I have a printout of the pages here. I'm just trying to, there you go, put that back. Um, so yeah, here it just tells you like, just uh, take those screw out, uh, lift it slightly from the gear and then you can just adjust the uh, the pot or the gear just to recenter it. It was moving and shifting a lot. The pot was just dirty so I just uh, had some contact cleaner just to, you know, I moved it for about five minutes and uh, that cleaned up the pot. So the pot is actually nice and the thing drives. I can actually just uh, start a game. Uh, it accelerates properly, it brakes properly and yeah. If I, uh, there you go, if I stop accelerating, I lose speed quite fast, I can brake, uh, I can accelerate, and we get nice movement on the wheel. The wheel on this game actually feels a bit soft. Uh, um, that was the great thing about OutRun. It had some weight to the, uh, the, the wheel assembly, so you felt like you were actually driving a car. This actually feels very, very, very light and soft. Um, it could be due to the spring being worn as well inside. I'll have a look, I'll have a look, but I think that's just the way it was. I mean, the, these cabs were sort of slapped together, really. I don't think there was much thought on the, uh, on what should go in these cabs. And the, um, the the standard upright is a bit more elaborate inside. This is very bare bone. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. But anyway, so game running, game running. Controls are fine now. Um, monitor will worry about that with uh, afterwards I might have an another spare uh, chassis somewhere in my um, my hoard let me see it must be here somewhere oh god I have uh, just a pile of uh, chassis over there yeah I must have one spare one I love it I love to have a look um, of that same otherwise I do have a couple of 19 inch this is a VGA this is the one he gave me and it's a VGA ch uh, chassis, which could be handy, but I have no use for it um, quite now. Or I can't foresee having any use for a VGA. 19-inch monitor, really. Um, anyway, so this is, uh, I have a spare one here. This was from a poker machine, but it's a, it's a different type of chassis. Uh, same size tube, but I'm not sure what the impedance is. And I don't think it's working anyway to start with, so I'm not going to, I'm going to not going to even think about replacing that so i think we'll just do a well i'll have a, a, a route first see what i have uh if not we'll do a, a recap on this guy next i need to start thinking cosmetic i'm going to need to order some art the uh, for the uh, marquee maybe reconnect the uh, the audio um secure everything back down and uh, and think about what i want to do for the control panel i think that's going to be our next job the uh, that control panel. Am I going to leave it like that? Will I convert it to a turbo outrun regardless? I think that's what I'm going to do at this stage. Um, maybe, maybe if you're watching this, uh, you know somebody selling a turbo outrun camera control panel. Unlikely. These things are, are rare and people are hanging onto them. Um, and then we'll uh, put some uh, side uh, artwork. So I think cosmetics is going to be next. Um, that'll give me time to think about the strategy for the control panel. And here's Fiona. <laughs> and we got sound. Uh, I just plugged one of the uh, speaker. Um, the other one is working as well. There's just uh, one of the tab is missing there. So I really need to make uh, contact with it. But there you go. It does work. So. I have to find a way just to uh, put the tab back. Um, something funny. I'm not sure if it could be the coin mechanism. I, I'll have to find a way. Uh, I think the uh, there's a is it five or six or maybe twelve volt. I'll have to see what's uh, what. Um, it's probably five. What is coming here? Um, are we getting power here? Because uh, this is then going uh, to the. Or I'll see what we have here. And essentially, the light here isn't working for for the coin. Uh, for the coin uh, acceptor uh, window panel. Not a big deal, um, because essentially I won't be, you know, using that section. It's just nice to have a, a, a thing that lights up. Uh, but 
Yeah, the amp is working fine, so that's good news. I'm gonna have to tidy that. I think next is gonna get, uh, I need to get into the cosmetics and uh, the side. I'm gonna convert this, just decide how I'm gonna go about it. So yeah, but uh, cool, uh, cool game. This bit of the uh, kind of boring side of uh, side after a while because it's you, you can set the difficulty, but it's very long. It's actually a long game to compete and uh, to compete or run. And uh, yeah, it's rad movie. Not the best game. It's the best. Rad mobile, it's mobile, not <laughs> mobile. Um, anyway, I think that's all f I can do for now. I uh, just need to go online and check with Ollie, see if he has work. I know he has the side art. I know he has, I have art for the the, the uh, overlay here. I need to check with him if he wants that or if he wants a, a photo of that or, or, or something or a scan. I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about it, but I need to check with him. And um, I'm gonna need the, uh, the top art as well, which actually is just a little section. I think there should be tabs. They're little, uh, yeah, they look like they've been sheared off. It's kind of hard to see uh, with the light. So I'm gonna have to find a way to mount it onto that. Um, and then, yeah, so just check uh, check with him about the art. I think this is gonna be it for this video, folks, because uh, I think we've gone as far as we could go. Obviously with the structure, uh, electrics are working all fine. Just the monitor to uh, probably recap and readjust. And uh, and the rest is gonna be cosmetic and art, and obviously decide what to do with the uh, the panel. I'm repeating myself. This is it, folks. Thank you for watching. I hope this was interesting. And uh, I'll see you next time.